much. And that's all from us now on BBC One, the news wherever you are. Good night. Good evening. From tomorrow, a new restricted ScotRail timetable starts with services cut by around a third. The move by recently nationalised ScotRail is a way, it says, of producing a reduced but more reliable service. An ongoing pay dispute has meant fewer drivers are willing to work overtime to cover gaps in the service. Aileen Clark reports. Now, if you normally get the train to work in the morning, then tomorrow is shaping up to be anything but normal. ScotTrail is urging passengers to check the website, check the app before they leave the house in the morning. And that's particularly important if you usually go for an early train. So, for example, the commuter service from Dalmeny into Edinburgh, while the first train from that tomorrow is at one minute past seven. Now, that's later than usual. The last train home there from Edinburgh tomorrow night is 20 past seven. Now, likewise, if you're up in the northeast, the last train home from Aberdeen to Inverurie tomorrow night is just before uh, 8 o'clock, according to the app. Passengers are not happy, as I found out earlier today at Paisley Gilmore Street. It's cancelled. Just There's not enough drivers, so I need to ring one of my family that I've been stopping with to come pick us up. For me, I don't have a car, so it's just... Terrible. The train will be on until about five, ten minutes before you actually leave and then it just cancels. All the train cancelled from that station. So that's why I'm using this station today. Now, if you've bought a ticket but then there's not actually a suitable train to use it on, Scott will say you will be able to get a refund. But brace yourself, unless you've bought that ticket from a booking office at a station, that refund process will be online. So customers can get a refund. We recognise the challenges that have been faced because of the level of service that's been delivered. We'd advise customers to check our website, scotrail.co.uk, for the latest information on refunds, or people can travel at alternative times. Speak with a member of our staff, visit the website, check social media to get all the information. Meanwhile, the Scottish Government continues to stress that even though it took ScotRail into public ownership last month, it is not part of the pay negotiations that are going on. Now, those pay negotiations between ScotRail and Aslev, the drivers' union, are absolutely key to restoring a good relationship which would mean that drivers would once more take on the overtime working on which the full service currently relies. Aileen Clark, reporting Scotland, Glasgow. A Calmac ferry which was damaged when it hit a pier in North Uist will return to normal service tomorrow morning. MV Hebrides had to be taken to Greenock for repairs to its hull after the incident while berthing at Loch Maddy on Wednesday evening. Calmac said the repairs were now complete and it will sail again from Oog on Sky at 9.30am. Other ferries that were redeployed will return to their normal routes. Scotland's Employment and Fair Work Minister has called for people to be sensible when it comes to asking for pay rises. Richard Lockhill told BBC Scotland that any salary increases will have to be affordable. It comes as recent figures show inflation has reached a 40-year high of 9%. Several unions representing public sector workers have been calling for double-digit pay rises to help staff tackle the cost of living crisis. With house prices in Scotland increasing by £11,000 in two years, Scottish Labour is warning a generation will be priced out of home ownership. The cost of the average home has grown over the pandemic to only £162,000. A Scottish Government spokesman said it was already helping people onto the property ladder. Time now for the weather and Christopher is here. Hi Louise, thanks very much indeed. Very good evening to you. Some heavy showers to uh, start the evening and some rain moving north, but that is now clearing or at least becoming confined to the far north. Elsewhere, some clear skies, temperatures 9 or 10 degrees, perhaps the odd mispatch around as well. First thing tomorrow, it's mostly dry with the best of any morning sunshine in the east through uh, the borders, Edinburgh, the Lothians, Fife, Angus, Aberdeenshire. Elsewhere, Cloudy with showers, perhaps a bit of brightness towards sky and through the minches there. Uh, but elsewhere, a rather grey Monday morning with some heavy rain still with us across Shetland, but clearing. Through the course of the day, a lot of cloud around, showers developing, becoming heavy in the east by afternoon. Highs around about the mid-teens. Tuesday, central and west Scotland, plenty of sunshine, cloudier in the east. Once again, showers developing through the day and temperatures reaching 16 degrees. That's the forecast for now.
Okay, many thanks, Christopher. And that's Reporting Scotland. Our next update is during breakfast at 6.25 tomorrow morning. From everyone here, enjoy the rest of your night. Bye for now.